Greetings, all you YouTubers out there and uh, quail enthusiasts. Um, I was going to do an update on my Winola Ranch uh, cage setup I purchased. I purchased the six tier. That was the top one they were selling, I do believe. So I purchased that one, 850 bucks. That's what they charged me. I think it's a pretty good deal. It's a nice setup, pros and cons. Um, it's, uh, it's okay. Three feet wide is pretty nice. The depth is pretty nice. I guess the height is okay. I don't, I don't know. I would have made something a little bit taller. Um, some of the things I changed, as you can see, I cut the food trays in half. So... I could put the water on the front as well. That was a big deal. I didn't, I didn't like the automatic watering system because it got so dirty and I had to clean it and taking them all off at one time is a challenge. And on the back of the cage, I didn't like that because I usually had to pull the cage away from the wall or walk behind it or something. And I didn't like that at all. So in order to bring the, the waters up front, I had to cut the uh, food trays in half, which isn't a big deal. Um, you can cut them in half. I got some pretty thin metal. That's just roofing uh, flange right there from uh, Lowe's. It's pretty thin. And I just traced, traced that side. As you can see, my marks, some of the red marks where I was tracing it out. I just traced it and cut it out and I used um, the screws right there, the self, uh, the self uh, attaching screws uh, for that. And you can see that. That's how I made little flaps around the whole thing. I don't know if you can see that one down at the bottom. But that's how I did it. And so I brought all the cage and cut all of those in half so I could bring the waters up front. And now I can see the waters. And I can fill them and clean them one at a time, which is not a big deal. Now, I don't have a big operation. Another thing I did, uh, you can see sandboxes. The quails love the sand, so they've got to have some sandboxes. There's my broody mama. I don't know if you can see her and her eggs back there, but I'm going to leave her and those eggs there. And I got two or three of them like that. So, you can see I have sandboxes in all of them. I have two sandboxes. And you know, the sandboxes couldn't fit through these little doors. There's no way. Um, so what I did was I went around and I cut the uh, sides, the attaching little rings that were on the side right here, on both sides. And in the middle, they had some in the middle right there. And I cut those too. Well, now this whole thing comes open for me. You can see that, right? And I have plenty of room to put my sandboxes in there. And I can make them as tall or as big as I want them. So I chose to do two sandboxes per, uh, per little uh, community here for the quails. And anyway, just to show you again how much room, you know, and then when the when the tray's hanging on it, when the tray and the water's hanging on it, they really can't get out. So you, you don't even need to put them back on. You can just leave them like that. All of them are just hanging. I didn't I didn't put the rings back on any of them. And you know you just set the the thing back on there, like that. That's all you have to do. And uh, so that's what I did there for the sandboxes. They love the sandboxes. So I built them. I made them. Two, two for each one. Um, they're too small. These things are too small to put 12 birds. You know how they want us to do it. Five females to one male. Well, that would be six. And some people will put a divider in there and put six over here and six over there. Well, that's, that's too crowded. You know, I saw one guy do that. I think that's pretty cruel. Uh, there's, they just don't have enough room, you know. So... I think uh, five female and one male, that's okay. The most I have up there are four females to one male because I don't have that many females. So I tried to divvy them up as best I could and they seem to all be getting along pretty good. Um, 
another thing I don't uh, think is necessary if you have a small operation is the rollout cages. I don't, I don't think that's necessary. You know, I, I stick my hand in there all the time and grab the eggs and put them in the incubator. You know, I've got about a hundred quail outside and um, I don't see where the rollout cages are really necessary. It, it only takes a second or two to reach in there and, and get the eggs. But anyway, I was just trying to share that with everybody. It's a good setup. It's, it's probably the nicest one out there. It's metal. That hatching time system they, they're selling is plastic. That's not going to last. Plastic never lasts. It's going to fall apart in no time. So these are uh, uh, much better, 10 times better than the plastic stuff. This, this is probably the best setup uh, you can find out there right now is Winola Ranch. Um, and if you have any skills whatsoever, I think you should make your own. Because uh, th these aren't perfect. I, I don't think they're perfect, but they're the best ones you can buy right now. But that's, uh, that's an update, the Winola Ranch update. I just wanted everybody to see that. I, I hope I got some good pictures for you to see. There's my little quail. There's the tough guy on the, the little white one on the second tier up there. He beats up everybody. And there you go. That's how I did it. I hope I explained it well enough. Signing out. Jesus is Lord.